Durham, also known as the City of Durham, is a cathedral city and civil parish in the district and county of Durham, England. The city is on the banks of the River Ware. The settlement was founded over the final resting place of St. Cuthbert. One of the main attractions of Durham City Shopping Centre is its Umbrella Street. With over 40 leading retailers, including H&M, Next, Monsoon, Fat Face, New Look, Boots and Superdrug, Pandora and Clarks, along with a range of unique boutiques. This open-air shopping centre is a key part of any visit to the city. Prince Bishop's Shopping Centre was built in 1999, after the demolition of the infamous concrete multi-storey car park in Lees's Bull. Nearly 20 years on Prince Bishop's Shopping Centre, located right in the heart of Durham, remains the city's premier shopping venue. The name Durham comes from the Celtic element Dun, signifying a hill fort and related to Dash Tun, and the Old Norse Holm, which translates to Ireland. The Lord Bishop of Durham takes a Latin variation of the city's name in his official signature, which is signed N. Dunum. Durham Cathedral was a centre of pilgrimage in medieval England. Durham Castle has been the home of Durham University since 1832. Both 11th century buildings, the castle and cathedral were designated as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1986. It is the historic County Palatine of Durham's centre of governance. HM Prison Durham is also located close to the city centre and was built in 1816. The city of Durham has long had an association with markets going back to Saxon and Norman times. The marketplace became the focal point for traders to sell their wares alongside farmers, butchers, greengrocers, shoemakers, street peddlers and entertainers. The area set aside for the new market hall was part of the site of New Place, the former palace and gardens built in the Middle Ages for the Nevilles of Raby and Brensipeth, the Earls of Westmoreland. who had forfeited the property to the crowd after their involvement in the ill-fated rebellion of the North in 1569. The palace was eventually bought from King James II in 1612 by Henry Smith's charity and was used as a factory, workhouse and charity school before being demolished to ultimately make way for the present market hall. The market hall is described by Nicholas Pevsner's interior mostly with the usual cast iron roof in a series of pitches on cast iron columns, but stone vaulted at the north end. The back elevation, exposed to Lees's Road, has no Gothic pretenses, just a massive retaining wall and plain segmental headed windows under a row of gables. By the start of the 19th century, overcrowding in the marketplace became a real problem with the various trades being widespread and disorganized throughout that part of the city. Traders banded together with local businessmen to petition for both the building of a purpose-built market hall and for a more organized running of the markets. In May 1851, the Durham Markets Company Act was passed for establishing new markets and marketplaces in the city of Durham, for abolishing the corn tolls, and for regulating the markets and fairs within the said city and suburbs thereof, and for other purposes. In 
In the late 19th century, fairs for horses, sheep and horned cattle were regularly held in the market hall and twice a year servants' hirings were held. Originally the market was only open on a Saturday, when trading finished at 11 p.m. with the ringing of the market bell, an example of which can still be seen today hanging in the balcony bistro. Some attribute the city's name to the legend of the dun cow and the milkmaid who in legend guided the monks of Lindisfarne, carrying the body of Saint Cuthbert to the site of the present city in 995 AD. Duncow Lane is said to be one of the first streets in Durham, being directly to the east of Durham Cathedral, and taking its name from a depiction of the city's founding, etched in masonry on the south side of the cathedral. The city has been known by a number of names throughout history. The original Nordic Dunholm was changed to Durisum by the Normans, and was known in Latin as Dunum. The modern form Durham came into use later in the city's history. The northeastern historian Robert Surtees chronicled the name changes in his history and antiquities of the county Palatine of Durham, but states that it is an impossibility to tell when the city's modern name came into being. The Cathedral Church of Christ, Blessed Mary the Virgin and St. Cuthbert of Durham, commonly known as Durham Cathedral and home of the Shrine of St. Cuthbert, is a cathedral in the city of Durham, England. It is the seat of the Bishop of Durham, the fourth-ranked bishop in the Church of England hierarchy. The present Norman era cathedral had started to be built in 1093, replacing the city's previous white church. In 1986 the Cathedral and Durham Castle were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Durham Cathedral's relics include St. Cuthbert's, transported to Durham by Lindisfarne monks in the 800s, St. Oswald's head and the Venerable Bede's remains. The Durham Dean and Chapter Library contains sets of early printed books, some of the most complete in England, the pre-dissolution monastic accounts and three copies of Magna Carta. From 1080 until 1836, the Bishop of Durham held the powers of an Earl Palatine. In order to protect the Anglo-Scottish border, powers of an earl included exercising military, civil, and religious leadership. Durham University, legally the University of Durham, is a collegiate public research university in Durham, England, founded by an Act of Parliament in 1832 and incorporated by Royal Charter in 1837. It was the first recognized university to open in England for more than 600 years after Oxford and Cambridge and is thus one of the institutions to be described as the third oldest university in England. As a collegiate university its main functions are divided between the academic departments of the university and its 17 colleges. In general, the departments perform research and provide teaching to students, while the colleges are responsible for their domestic arrangements and welfare. A captivating city with winding cobbled streets and a prominent peninsula crowned with the dramatic Durham Cathedral and Castle World Heritage Site, one of the most stunning city panoramas in Europe, and now home to open treasure, the cathedral's world-class exhibition experience. Explore the timeless quality of this quintessential old English university city, take some time out with a relaxing riverside walk or over cruise, or soak up the atmosphere with superb cafes, artisan workshops, boutiques, galleries, and museums. 
watch the world go by in one of the city center cafes, shop for gourmet treats, locally produced food or original crafts in an array of shops and markets, or find city center calm at one of the city's many green spaces. During your stay be sure to take advantage of exclusive discounts and offers with the Indurum loyalty card. Days in Durham City are a hard act to follow, but the evenings are also up to the mark. From spellending theater to side-splitting comedy, intimate restaurants to chic cafe bars, and action films to art house cinema. Durham City has entertainment galore, don't miss the city's prime entertainment venue, the Gala Theater. It's the perfect place to pick up hot fashion fixes, gadgets, health and beauty products, and homeware. You can even get a stylish new hairdo, or take a break and have a coffee, or a cocktail. If you enjoy this video please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel.